Welcome to episode 187 of the Radio Control Show, sponsored by Amy and Hobbies.com, your one stop RC hobby store. All the editors here are excited that Traxxas is entering the airborne segment of RC. Their newest offering, the QR1 quadcopter, fits in the palm of your hand. This ultra-responsive hovering machine is stable, yet capable of extreme maneuvers and can be flown both indoors and out. The new QR1 quadcopter from Traxxas is an easy to fly four rotor hovering machine. It comes ready to fly with a four channel 2.4 gigahertz radio with digital trim. And it also comes with two 3.7 volt 1S LiPo batteries. The Traxxas QR1 quadcopter is fun, easy to fly and a great gift for the holidays. The fuel tank in your gas or nitro powered aircraft can make all the difference in how well and reliable your engine runs. Plumbing your tank correctly is the key to a consistent fuel supply. Here's Model Airplane News, John Reed with some tips on correctly setting up your fuel tank. When working with low fuel or gas, your tank is a key component to the power system. Having everything set up correctly is extremely important. Uh, the main thing that you want to do is you want to make sure the length of tubing that goes from your clunk to the inlet uh, tube on your tank is the correct length so the clunk can bounce around you can hear it bounce around in there uh, as long as the clunk is free to move around there you shouldn't have any issues uh, the other major problem that people run into is that if they don't have something attaching the ends of the tubing to the clunk and to the inlet and also on both tubes going into the gas tank uh, eventually the tubes will pop off and you'll lose fuel that way couple ways that you can prevent that from happening, you can just use plain old zip ties, tie them around, make sure that it's tight, clip off the ends, that'll keep everything in place, all your tubing locked in. Yeah, I like to use just pieces of wire, short pieces of wire, I wrap around, twist on like a twist tie, and it prevents the fuel tubing from falling off. The last thing is you buy commercially made fuel line keepers, and they just go on there and they continuously monitor or continuously create pressure onto the fuel line to prevent it from coming off. So by doing all of this, you make sure that this tank continues to feed your motor for the life of the plane. That's your tip of the week. Considered by many to be one of the holy grails of RC, Conley V8 engines are scale working versions of real V8 car and truck motors. These scaled down replicas are not only stunning works of machining, but also sound exactly like their full size counterparts. Thanks to Conley Precision for this awesome video of their Stinger 609 top fuel dragster. This is a new supercharged engine. You look at it, give some details of what's going on. Look down is the oil pressure gauge, supercharger lines. We're using oval air cleaner to add extra cleaning to the uh, air coming in.
The newest addition to the top flight line of Warbirds is the legendary Focke Wolf FW190. This giant scale ARF is designed for a 55cc gasoline engine and is also an excellent platform for high voltage electric power. Demo pilot Dan Landis showed off this big e-powered butcher bird at the neat fair. Special thanks to SKS Video for supplying the footage. Hey guys, my name is Dan Landis. I'm from Champaign, Illinois. I currently work at Habaco. And uh, right here with us today, we've got the brand new Fock Wolf from Top Flight. It's got a Rimfire 65cc uh, motor up front with a Castle Creations 160 controller for, uh, for the power to the motor. We're running a 12S 1P 5300 milliamp uh, battery. We're using a Futaba S-Bus system in the aircraft, which is uh, really cool. It allows me to have just one connection from the wing to the, um, to the receiver, so we only have one plug, not four like you would normally have with an airplane with two ailerons and two flap servos. We've also got in the wing the brand new Robart electric retracts. And another really cool thing about that is that's as well just one electronic connection like a servo connection. No air retracts or airlines or anything to worry about there. So that's really cool. They're really holding up great. The latest issue of Radio Control Short Course is taking the newsstands by storm. Inside you'll find tons of great how-tos, hot new vehicles like the Durango DESC 210R, the killer team associated SC10B RS and much more. Get your copy now on newsstands and at the Air Age store by going to airagestore.com. Head to your local hobby shop or newsstand for the January issues of Radio Control Car Action and Model Airplane News. Or get it now on airagedoor.com, iTunes, or barnesandnoble.com. Thanks again for joining us on the Radio Control Show, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>